Okay, today I would like to share a literature graph UNEX. It is a paper published in the Proceedings of the 36th International Conference on Machine Learning, and it is a really new paper published last year. And the presentation will be included in three parts. The first part is the motivation. The graph UNET actually is born from UNET. UNET is a, a convolutional neural network architecture published uh, years before. And it is a very a useful uh, biomedical image segment, segmentation technique. It actually consists of two parts. The first part is um, comes the first part consists of multiple convolutional layer and a pooling layer, which which is used to construct path to capture the context. It is it actually you can um, regard it as a, a complex procedure, just like a feature extraction from the uh, global global information. And the second part is the is called the expansive path, which is used to uh, precise local localize the information and restore the um, the resolution of the image from by uh, multiple deconvolution or upconvolution and upsampling uppooling to uh, bring the construct feature back to the expanded feature and they also use some as skip connection to directly compare the feature from lower level to the upper level and this is a very it turns out to be a very useful com a new level architecture on a medical Im image segmentation and this paper is uh, actually based on the unit and it proposed graph unit the motivation of that is that the, the, the fundamental motivation is that when when we you when we want to use pool and unpool for graph data, there is a totally another story. Just like the this, actually the graph convolution technique is proposed by multiple papers before, but they have not uh, solved the problem, the pooling and unpooling uh, measures in the graph data. So this paper uh, suggests that the pooling and, and unpooling is need to decide to um, implement UNET on graph uh, data. And actually, pooling it progressively reduces the spatial size of the representation to reduce the amount of parameters and computation in the network. As you can see, for this uh, this uh, 3D tensor, the pooling is to is used to reduce the size of the slice of the matrix and uh, to to uh, reduce the size of this representation by four times. And in detail, you can see that this is the image. You can you can regard it as an image, and the and it, it is part. It is partitioned into four parts. Each part it will only elevate one element to form the final extra, uh, pooling image. In this way, you, you can reduce the significant amount of parameters and computation in the network. And so, the goal of the pooling operation is to bring a level of invariance to changes in position and scale as well as as to accurate aggregate responses within and cost feature maps because it regarded the uh, the path in this in, in each partition is similar and there's uh, there's uh, invariance to some extent so we, we can use some a mathematical solution mathematical procedure to uh, only sample uh, one of the elements in one partition and in in this and this this kind of pool is called mass pool because it only selects the maximum value on each partition. And as you can see, the, it, it, it can highlight similar information in local area. You can see this is the local area and therefore reduce the size of feature map. 
but for the graph data is, it is different as stated in this paper they say that in particular there is no locality information among nodes in graphs thus the partition operation is not applicable on graphs and x by x n comes out this sentence um, suggests that uh, in graph data you cannot part you cannot part uh, separate the the image the, the the graph data into multiple partitions just by the uh, just by uh, regarding the, the there is lo just by just by assuming there is local area and there is some similar information in the local area. Uh, in fact, so the pooling cannot measure the local information among the feature vectors because there each each is no actually represents as a feature. You cannot roughly uh, measure the feature um, among among each uh, among each nodes. You have to you have to figure out some measures to uh, do the pooling on graph data to uh, efficiently and and uh, and and to efficiently uh, sample the node on uh, on on some. Uh, to, to, uh, on, on, on some extent, on some scale. So this is the motivation of this paper. In this paper, they uh, want to solve the this, the, for the pooling and unpooling uh, procedure in graph data. So they propose the graph unit. This is the overall structure of the graph unit. And at, at, the, at the very beginning, he will do the they will do the graph embedding to uh, reduce the feature space of each node and then the graph unit is uh, is functioned and let's uh, come into a, a little bit detail the graph unit consists of two parts the first part is called encoder just similar to the unit the uh, the construct path in in, in, the, in, the, in this this uh, encoder this uh, actually is consists of multiple blocks each block it consists of two kinds of uh, layer the first is the graph pooling and then is the graph convolution the graph pooling is to reduce the graph size just like pooling in convolutional neural network in traditional convolutional neural network and the graph convolutional uh, new network is to uh, aggregate first order neighbor information. It, it is actually a measure published in the papers before. So, in in sorry, in this in this in this in encoder, they use uh, graph convolutional and G pooling, graph pooling to uh, construct to construct the feature, and then in the decoder they use the actually is a reverse procedure they do the unpool and then do the graph convolution again and this also there is also a com this decoder the decoder also consists of multiple blocks each block consists of two procedure the unpooling graph unpooling and graph convolution and the graph unpooling is to res restore the graph into higher resolution just like the traditional upsampling in convolutional neural network and the graph convolutional is also used to aggregate the neighbor information and just like the unit they also use the skips uh, connection uh, procedure to fuse the lower level spatial features from the encoded block in the same level as you can see in the same level they will directly uh, extract the feature from the encoder to the decoder and the the the, the procedure this procedure can use a concatenation or sum to fuse the features so this is the overall structure of the graph unit next we will look into the fundamental functions fundamental uh, details of two uh, two proposed um pro two critical uh, suggestion of this paper the first is the graph pooling this is the graph pooling layer um, 
the x is the feature matrix, a is the adjacent matrix corresponds to the graph data, and p is a trainable project projection projection pro projector. At first step, they will do the projection to master the feature of each node along project vector, pro projection vector. Because in the uh, in in graph in graph data, you cannot measure the the locality among each nodes uh, roughly based on the feature. You have to do some measurement on the feature directly to uh, measure uh, which feature in a local area the feature of each node, which, which feature of each node is more important. So they propose a projection vector to uh, to achieve this goal. And then they will select nodes with top k largest projection value. And based on this, but based on the uh, Based on this uh, top k largest value, they can select they can select the features in corresponding with corresponding index, and 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 similarity similarly they can use to update adjacent matrix with the same index. So after this, they also use the uh, also use the uh, di directly use the uh, top k selection values to do the elements wise product with the selected feature. The, the fundamental goal of this is to use it, it is use this procedure to control the information flow because you have to ensure that the selected feature is corresponding to the selected uh, uh, feature measurement values. And another important uh, Goal is to use this procedure to allow gradient propagation to trade projection vector, because in index pi you only select the index based on the uh, a discrete value. It is like it, it, this. This two procedure, this two procedure in the computation graph is actually separates. So they they want to use this element element wise product to allow the 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 train the tra the gradient the gradient uh, the to the training procedure to be uh, to to achieve by around the great gradient propagate propagation from the from the uh, error to the projection train pro projection uh, vector and the another technique is the graph improving. Uh, compare with the graph pooling, the graph and pooling, in my opinion, is a little bit coarse because they just uh, you build zero feature vector for the selecting node and just like this, the the un, the unselected feature and selecting and selecting node in the graph pooling procedure is a few with is filled with zero feature is filled with zero, zero feature vector so I just use this to restore the resolution of the uh, graph the, the pooling graph so I think maybe uh, it is it is another trick or something else but I think it's too coarse and also they suggest two tricks in the network structure first is that they use two order adjacent metrics to avoid two sparse connectiv connectivity after graph pooling for example they use the in this paper, they use k to power power uh, power of two a to the power of two uh, to uh, form the final adjacent matrix. In this way, the 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 even though the fourth order neighbor is eliminated after graph pooling, the second order still exists. And they also emphasize each node's old feature by at the original adjacent matrix with two times the entity identity matrix. So the the weight on the each node's or the weight on each node's own feature is increased. Now let's come to the experiments to see how this architecture works. They use two uh, they, they actually 
implements two kinds of experiments. The first is the no classification, which is based on these three data sets. And there is uh, thousands of nodes in there in, in these data sets. And there are, there are another ex kind of experiment, another experiment is the inductive learning. In this in these experiments, they suggest that the labels of parts of nodes are unknown, but they also use to train and uh, as a train data. And the performance is so that the graph, uh, you, the graph you next uh, actually performs better than the base size. The baseline includes the deep walk, plank toy, the, and some traditional graph convolutional neural network and graph attention uh, neural network. And they, and one of the um, one of the good point of these experiments is that they also implement abrasion study. They want to emphasize that the graph pooling and graph unpooling do work. So in these studies, they just remove these two uh, procedures in the architecture, and they say, and the and the performance actually decrease. So in this way, they can they can validate that the proposed the proposed architecture actually works. And they also implement study on network structure. At first, they can they examine the network depth. And in these experiments, they suggest that their their network, their their uh, the graph pooling and graph unpooling procedure works work for several network, and the depth the depth the four the depth of four performs better, which is uh, also consistent with the tra traditional UNAC. So that so the the functions on for. Uh, from graph unit is actually similar to the unit. And they also implement studies on parameter number and they want to uh, they want to uh, emphasize that uh, the complexity of the model is is uh, is not it is is acceptable because just as small parameters as small parameters Compared to the uh, architecture without graph pooling and graph uh, graph, graph and pooling, the accuracy, the accuracy is increased to some to a large extent. So, the this pr procedure actually uh, is uh, made sense. So that's all. Thank you.